Hello guys, this is Leo Tools. Today I came to Paris and I'm going to visit a shop. It's called uh, Qtax Korea on the website. But actually, in, uh, if you visit the shop, it's called uh, Maison Dajeng Paris. So uh, they have a multiple sectors. They have a three sectors. They have an online shop called Qtax Korea. And this shop, the offline shop, is called uh, Maison Dajeng Paris. Yeah? And they also work with a major high-end back companies and they try to make uh, exclusive tools and they sell exclusive tools and they have all sorts of new tools and it's very different than what you have seen before so it'll be fun to look around so I'll take you inside so normally they don't allow these photographs but I asked them for um, permission to videotape inside so if you guys want to come also you have to be aware that you have cannot take any photos and videos in the shop so this is the opening hours uh, it's written in French but I think you can also check online that um, these are the opening hours for this shop and uh, if you come to Paris and you think it's a good idea to come to visit this shop so let's get inside so if you get inside on the right side there's a very antique stamping machine and this old Blanchard a catalog it's written it's on a print version and there's hardware inside you can see it's a brass or nickel plated or cast steel maybe also so you can for example d-rings and buckles they sell like this uh, they do shop online uh, they they send out worldwide and lots of customers also visit here um, Belgium France of course I, when I was here a lot of customers came in so it's a really popular shop and um, they sell also these leather dies from five inks and I heard from this shop they work with the major uh, high-end bag companies a lot so what they offer here is not just the leather it's a uh, leather from those companies so I cannot tell which company it is but it's a uh, one of the best brands that you, you guys know so it's really really nice leather high quality leather they come out from those factories so um, what these are is that this type of leathers so it's a uh, like almost bell size uh, leathers it's a uh, three euros per piece you can come and you can you can buy this and, and this sector is a vegetable leather so this some are the big hides uh, this one has big scar on it but it's really big and this one is no scars pretty small but these are 18 euro per kilogram yeah so you can also hand select these if you are not so unsure about this kind of thing so you can also come and hand pick these and here there are a lot of high quality brushes so these are also um, coming from the high-end back companies so these are for the all of these all brushes are the edge coat brushes so they have the this is two millimeter thin one this is four millimeter six millimeter ten and this is also ten millimeter but this is nylon brush and this is natural brush so you can also choose I think these um, nylon brushes last a little longer I think but I might have just tried this I cannot really say for sure and these round brushes are also uh, for edge coat and I'm surprised that this also this is also edge coat I think these um, very thick ones are used in settlery I think yeah. and also they do have different brushes as well but they told me this is uh, this is also nice brush but this is less quality than this one so when you look for the high-end um, edge coat brushes these are better but um, these are also good ones this is made in Italy and this is made in France so if you're looking for the high-end edge brushes these are the ones so if you're shopping online maybe I have to show you the what's the name of these brushes so online it says um, I can't really read, read French but uh, yeah this is the this is the title of the brushes so like this these are the flat brushes and the price is really good too I think really Mm -hmm. And these round ones are called like this. Mm -hmm. And also here, I use the Google Translator to see what this is. This is a white beeswax for edge coat uh, finishes. And these are the color wax that 
uh, you finish your edge with. And this is an interesting tool. Uh, this is when you glue two pieces of leather together, you instead of roller, you just push this tool um, on the leather, so you glue the whole uh, white section. Instead of hammering, you use this type of tool. And this is from the um, high-end uh, leather company as well. Yeah. So they have really good connection with those high-end companies, so they, uh, they make for them also, and they sell for the customers also as well. So like I said, I heard of which company it is, but I cannot um, talk about it online, so I'll not mention them. And also, they say tapes and these colors, colorings, and this is a typical um, colonial um, water stop colors, some threads, and also these are also from this um, high end company as well, the punching boards. Okay, and the stones in here, if you come this section, and this they told me this is this sponge is also using using one of those um, high-end companies for edge coats. Uh, you can use brush and you can use um, these sponges as well. Okay. Yeah, so these are called um, this French name yeah, on, their, on, your, on the website. Yeah. And really, especially, these are the lithography stones for pairing leather and they sell this. And the price is really good uh, compared to if you look for this kind of lithography stones online, they cost around 200 euros or somewhere the 500 euros. And it's, um, it's very nice that they offer them a really good price for these uh, lithography stones. Um, you don't really necessarily need to use the lithography stones, but it is the, one of the best stones that you can use. So uh, if you, um, um, your budget allows, it's always good to you know, use this um, kind of lithograph lithography stones as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this side I showed you already. And let's move into the shops. I have to show you how all the shops look like. So they also sell leather, and these are the, not just the leather, they are also leathers, leathers coming out from those high-end companies. So high-end back companies that you know, these leathers are supplied to them, and then they have connection with them, so they can also sell it here. So here, these leathers, like I think these types, I think the Chevrolet, some of the Chevrolet, and also other ones. So, yeah, Chevrolet. So the article is these Chevrolet. Yeah, it's so from the outside to the touch and the looks. I, I think I can really assure that this is high quality leathers, and the price is also good. And they also sell sell some uh, small piece also as well. And also they sell small box that you can also hand pick your uh, leather here. So if I show you on this side. So these are the Stingray, and it's um, five euro per piece. But that's uh, without before the tax, so you might add up a little bit more. But five euro, it's uh, it's uh, not not it will not change the difference much. And this is um, Chevrolet, and it's a one kilogram. It's uh, fourteen euros. So you can also hand select these if you come. And also a small piece as well here. You can you can choose your leather here. Also here, and you might guys. I've always wondered that clamp when I saw it on the website and I thought it was for the book binding but they, I finally got the answers from them and those are for, for the small leather goods for uh, the card cases or the watch straps I'm talking about the, these pyramid ones yeah. so these are for the uh, normal leather working that we do so it's not for book binding it's for um, normal leather craft work and it's, uh, it's one of the orders from the high-end bag companies as well. So um, that's why it's, uh, normally they don't sell it anywhere else. It's exclusively for here in uh, Manzong Dejang, Paris. So, and that clamp as well, that is also, uh, they, they also used in uh, high-end bag companies. Um, you can adjust your joint to 360 degrees. So um, you can adjust to your comfortable position, which is very cool. And um, if you see that um, kind of like a tree, tree bottom thing, that one is also from the high-end bag companies. Uh, it's to flip your bag after you complete it uh, inside out, and you can flip it. And they also was automated uh, from the um, bag companies, and they they uh, work with the manufacturer and they produce them and they supply to those companies. Yeah. So and also these are the reinforced materials. Um, we we can take a close look at it. 
So basically, they sell sulfur and other this um, bottom back bottom materials like plasticky, also hard. So if you just touch it, it's like it's not a it's not a paper. This is like plastic, so you can use for your bottom of the bags and very thin uh, reinforced material as well. Uh, if you see, I'll show you just the uh, uh, name of the article so you can search it online or order online also as well. So these are the salfa and these are also leathers, lots of leathers. And um, if you see here, they sell crocodiles or alligators. Yeah. The prices prices um, crocodile leathers are normally expensive so it is expensive but you can also choose your um, quality leather and you can also choose your color here you can shop it very easily and they do have a splitting machine as well so and they do the splitting, the splitting service according to your uh, thickness and the most interesting about this shop is they also work with these high-end back companies they have all these um, used regard and the used adesse machines. So this shop work with these high-end back companies exclusively. They have these used regard and adesse machines, and you can buy them here. And this regard Z6M is discontinued. This model is discontinued, but you can use uh, buy used machines here. Um, they have two uh, two sockets, so you can use two handles, and they do have some of the uh, adesse machines. Uh, which is relatively a little bit old, but I don't think this is um, not a problem. It's, uh, it's, uh, I, I kind of like this analog design with the knob. So I think it's really nice that if you are looking for a creasing machine, which is very expensive, but you can, you can buy here used with a the lot of discount as well. Yeah. So, let's see, show some of the letters here also. This, this clamp also is interesting. So you have um, traditional clamp, but you have this uh, stainless steel bar attached to it. So I think it's interesting design. So if I show you, these are rivets. Also, these are also rivets. They sell this kind of hardware as well. Nicely packaged. So, yeah. These rings also as well. Yeah. And also here is interesting section. These are, I'm sure, it's for book binding. But of course, you can use for your um, normal leather work as well. You can do um, your initials work with this thing. Also, they sell foils and this Bergeret Blanchard tool as well. These glue pots. I always saw people use these glue pots, but I have no experience with using these glue pots. But it uh, looks pretty cool too. Yeah. So it's punches, lots of punches. And this section here is a glue section, I think. Mostly glue. Yeah, so it's um, neoprene glue, lots of different glues. And uh, this glue pot is pretty cool, I think, really. And this, this glue is also cool. Acrobond glue with the solvent based and this is water based glue it's called aqua gum 018 and this is the glue that um, high end bag makers use also as well yeah and i also had this interesting glue i saw and i heard from them that this glue is also used in high end uh, bag companies it's uh, it looks like the book binding thing is written here but uh, they said it's not allowed to uh, show their makers and uh, all this, uh, like the model or the, the main manufacturer who make this, so um, they just uh, labeled, it, labeled it like this. But these are also used in high-end companies and high-end back, high-end back companies. But uh, what is the difference between these two is that you apply the only one side and you glue, you glue the two pieces of leather. For this, you have to apply for two sides. Yeah? And I'm sure in a, a bank making process, um, they have to differentiate um, which side you glue, put the glue on. So um, it's in details, you have to go through that which glue you should use uh, in technique as well. But that's, that is the difference. So these two are both used in high-end bag companies, but you have to apply two sides for this glue. And for only one side, 
you can glue it with this glue so that is interesting they have a special jaw type so this is something you might try also as well and also this, um, this glue pot as well this one is quite quite famous and uh, but, uh, it's, it's very uh, well known um, glue pot yeah. so there yeah, so I want to show you this side as well it's a big glue pot and all of these regard machine stationed under the rack so if you're looking for regard machine with a better price you can you can buy them here in Majong Dajin Paris so I think I showed much of the important things and I'll show you some interesting tools and knives as well so if you come to this counter they sell these knives and tools yeah. mostly Peugeot Blanchard but there are some special ones yeah. I think most of them you guys already know these but um, there are some special ones as well so I want to show you this thing and this is also um, requested from these high-end back uh, companies they work with together so what this is it's a special type of uh, tape but it's, it's not sticky to your hands but I'm not sure exactly what type of um, uh, material this is but this is for describing so this is leather yeah? and normally your leather moves around quite a lot yeah, on this um, pairing block, uh, pairing stone. But with this type of thing, it's not very sticky to your hand. It's just a, it feels like like vinyl or PVC. But when you put place your place your leather, the leather doesn't move around. Yeah. So I'm I'm filming, so I cannot um, I might not um, uh, do a perfect job, but I can skive really well. Yeah, like this with this um, tape so your leather doesn't move around so it doesn't stretch uh, while you skive so and you can you reuse this thing it's, uh, it's a quite thick piece of very soft but it has a very good traction with your hands so yeah so this is the name of this tape so you can buy it online it's very interesting product really so this is it and also I want to show you these knives I've never seen any kind of this knife in other shop. This is exclusively uh, made. Uh, they are it's actually their own tools. So, and these are not just their own tools. These are supplied to this high-end back companies. And actually, it's a, it was a request from those companies. So, uh, they are high-quality steels. Uh, they are all made in in France, and um, it's a really nice, uh, really highly curly um, wood. It's a very high, hard wood design it's a pairing knives and this one as well so these are the in-house tools they sell yeah so it does a high quality steel pairing knives they make so it's uh, one thing that you you can you want to interest to look at so the price range for these type of knives pairing knives it's uh this one is uh, 55 55 euros also 55 55 these are, i think these are the box suits they look really nice and that that knife is uh, 38 euros yeah. all right and also these they also sell this um, high grit sandpapers so you can also sell them oh I almost forgot I want to show you guys one interesting thing they have this type of triangle sticks yeah these are also supplied to high-end bag companies and this is a stick to sharpen your old blades, the diamond old blades. You can sharpen them with this type of uh, triangle sticks. And uh, it's really well made, very accurately flat and very well made um, sending sticks for you to sharpen your old blade. So I think it's a good, good thing to try if you want to sharpen your old blades. And also what's interesting is that they, these are the gum arabics, which is I've never yet tried. The gum arabics, um, they, they use this to finish the edges. And these were the also, the, they, they supply to high-end bag companies. 
and they use they are used in settlery in the, in those companies. And by now, I think you guys have guessed which company it is. All right. And they are also United's edge coat distributor, and they also sell these um, edge coats, which is um, heat treatable. And I, I was told that these are supplied to uh, high-end bag companies as well. So United's Pro edge coat is used in those high-end bag companies as well. So they are the good stuff, reliable, very consistent quality. So it's interesting to look at. So uh, like I said, they sell worldwide. They ship worldwide. So if you are looking for high quality leather craft supply, this is the shop you're looking for. I'll put the link in the description box so that you can shop online. And you, you have to go to the French website version of the Korea Textile Korea. Otherwise, some of the items might not show. But you can use Google Chrome to translate from French website. So there won't be a much problem. I used to shop in that way also. I had no problem. So this shop is worth the budget. I almost forgot that clamp. These are also one of the ponies that make for uh, high-end bag companies as well. And it looks beautiful in person. Yeah, one of the one of the items I might get in the future. It looks very nice. Yeah, almost they tried everything to make in wood except for certain piece. It looks uh, it looks like very really well made uh, French art. Really, it's a uh, it's a beautiful beautiful product. All right, so that was it. I'm glad to visit here. I think I will come here often again every time I come to France. So if you come to France, Paris, it's really worth the visit. So come and shop around. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next video. Bye bye.